now in the final chapters, which is streaming right now on Peacock. Congratulations on the series. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. So it was a, it was a movie at first, um, mm. and it's kind of about five friends, well, more than five, but friends, and they have the second, there was a second movie, Best Man Holiday. This is a terrible summation, but... And then now they've made it into a, a limited series, and it's kind of about these friends, and you follow their lives. Now, people on the internet have had a lot to say about your character's wig, OK? And <laughs> what yeah. would you, how would you, what would you like to say? <laughs> <laughs> what would you, what would you like to you say? You know, I understand. I understand. Right. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a challenging wig. <laughs> it was a, cha it was a challenging hair, hair situation. Go on, why? In what way did you? You know, it was, they were bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I had a bad wig, but I owned it, and yes. I felt like Candace just had bad hair. Mm. You know, <laughs> I, think I had to have, I had to do that. Mm. You have to work, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Regina, <laughs> obviously, we're in a new year. Uh, a lot of people make choices. They perhaps yes. end relationships. Yes. You have an interesting way of getting over somebody after you break up. Yeah. Explain, what is this way? I'm sure lots of people would love to know. Um, yeah, I like to go to amusement parks and ride roller co coasters after a breakup. Right. Wow. Yeah. On your own? Yeah. I, have, I have a friend that I would... She's who I would go with all the time, but, you know, she usually was experiencing the same thing, but now she's married. So. Right. No yes, you're right. Her. It's a very good way of getting it all out of your system. So good. Scream your head off for a day. You scream, you eat some bad food, you probably see a cute guy or two who's with someone else, but it doesn't... <laughs> but whatever, you at sure. least saw hope. It's yeah. kind of... It's, I like it. Now, Bella, you were, you were just 11 years old mm. when Game of Thrones happens, mm -hmm. which, wow. obviously, to be in something that huge is amazing at any point of your life. But 11, I can only imagine, is overwhelming. What was it like the first time when you were when you were being recognized out on the streets when the show came out it was strange mm. um uh, one of the first times i remember was uh, at the uh, st pancras station in london mm. i was waiting for a wee i didn't go on the train i always forget to go through mm. to the toilet is that oversharing no i think it's fine <laughs> um, not at all and at all. i so i was quite desperate and this lady comes up to me she's like are you from the tv and I think, yeah. And then the queue went down and I was ready for me to go in and I was like, I'll talk to you after. But I was like 11 and then we had a nice chat after we both did our business. So you said, let's come back to this. Let's both yeah. do a wee and then yeah. we'll carry on. Yeah, like, there's no... Did no it happen simultaneously? No, or no. She, she waited? She was in a different cubicle. No, I knew that. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. that, I, that would have been weird. But I mean, OK. Yeah, it was, it was after, yeah, yeah. I was once in a, in a toilet cubicle and somebody slid a piece of toilet paper no. <laughs> under the uh, cubicle and they had written on it uh, in a pen, I love carpool karaoke. <laughs> I apologise for that, <laughs> but I, I just I had to love it. Yeah. Sorry. Please thank Bella Ramsey. Regina Hall. We'll be right back, everybody.